Welcome back everybody to episode 3. Uh, before we go get our last chest over there, I want to come down here and show you guys uh, my little strip mine here. This is what I've set up to uh, start strip mining in. I've only gone this way so far, which ended up running into a little area here, and right here were five diamonds, I believe. And this was actually also, uh, this little cave was part of where we originally came in at. But I didn't actually ever look in there. So yeah, I'm glad I started that strip mine right there, found those diamonds I was missing. Uh, we were coming back over this way to find a chest from earlier. And there's a little creeper. We'll go ahead and try to get rid of him. Just kind of knock him back a little bit here. There we go. Uh, between the last episode, I've done a quite a bit. Uh, we got enough marble bricks for now because I've been having a few issues. Uh, let's go this way. I did not come back in here very much. There's a <laughs> skeleton stuck up there. Uh, I've done a little bit of work on the outside, so when we go out there, I'll let you know about that. Uh, but I really wanted to come back in here and get this. And, well, these guys need to go to some free slime balls. Uh, we need to come back and get these. I believe we had... Okay. Uh, we're going to try to get some machines built. Oh, boy. We'll do a small bit of exploration here, not too much, because I know there are poison spiders around here someplace. Let's go ahead and grab this uranium. I'm not just running around madly here, I was uh, kind of checking around. I don't want to go too far this way, because there is lava here. We'll go ahead and try to go this way a little bit though. Looks like we've been here already. Oh, not completely, but we've been here a little bit. Go check this out real quick. Whoops, it helps to get rid of what's above your head, too. Uh, so we haven't been that way, really. This is a pretty big place. So it's going to take a little while to explore it all. <laughs> that was pretty good, that creeper that fell in there. Uh, let's go back this way here. We found the chest that we actually came down here for, so I really could head back up to the surface and we could get started, but let's do a little bit more exploring. Go down here. I know there was spider spawner oops, someplace down there, so we're going to go this way just a little bit. Hopefully this guy won't come too close. Oh, he will. Okay, whoa, buddy. Let's just block that off for now. <laughs> we'll go ahead and grab a little bit of this stuff here. I mean, if we're out, we might as well grab a little bit. Oh, no. There's something over there. Let's get rid of... Uh, I don't really want pumpkin seeds, to be honest, but we really don't need eggs. So we'll just get rid of those. Oh, there's more than one in there. Okay, I think now might be a good time for us to leave. Uh, but I don't know, I really want to go over there. It seems kind of interesting, though. Now that there's all these guys trying to kill us, it seems slightly more interesting, interesting now. Let's kind of sneak our way around here. Whoops, wrong tool there. Play a little... James Bond is here. We'll go over there and see what those guys are all about in just a second. Uh, we don't need... <laughs> Actually, let's make some torches real quick, and then... Oh, that won't free us up a spot. Okay. We'll just leave these here. Uh, I've gotten a decent amount of wood back at base. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Really need to get rid of this water. 
and I didn't check behind me, which would have been a good idea. <laughs> I cannot place anything right now, apparently. I'm just way off, and it looks like, oh, there's a spider spawner up there. So let's get this lit real fast. I really don't think this is such a smart idea. Uh, I should probably just go back. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think it would re be really smart of us just to go back for now and uh, not be in here dealing with this. I'll just go ahead and block it off. But yeah, we're going to go back, guys, and... Uh, whoa. What is this? <sighs> okay, I'm going to head back, and uh, if I run into anything incredibly interesting on the way, then I will stop and record that. But if not, we'll be back up at the top next time we meet up, guys. So we'll be right back. Alright, everyone, we're back, and we're near the surface. And I realize it's dark, but hopefully I can get into our bed pretty quickly. Uh, you'll notice some changes here. I've gone ahead and finished everything down here. And I've added a sheep pen here. And we've got a few extra cows and such over there. A few chickens. I went ahead and lit up the area pretty decently. So we've got a nice little farm going on over here. And I'm sure they are annoying. Let's go ahead and grab this while we're out here. And we need... Uh, we don't have enough room. Let me go stash some of this stuff. I want to show you that area real quick also. Uh, there's nothing else in there but a bed now. So over here, I've moved everything over. And this will all be changed to wood or stone later. But we've sorted uh, most everything so far. Uh, it's all sorted out here. So go ahead and just put up a few things right now. I'm not really looking to do too much of the sorting. I'll do that off camera. But we have most of the materials we need to start uh, getting some power in our base as well as building up around the outside a little bit uh, because at night there is a small issue right now with mobs spawning on the outside and coming in. So that's something like that right there. That's something that we need to remedy. We're just going to go ahead and go sleep real quick after we kill this guy, of course. Ouch. Get rid of that. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go sleep real quick here. And I have double doors there, as you can tell. And the pressure plates don't always work perfectly. You've got to hit both of them when you walk through. But we won't have to deal with that for much longer. Okay, so what we're going to need here is some iron, and I know we're going to need some glass, so we're going to need iron, and oh, we will need coal also to smelt some stuff, and our sand is over here. We should only need 64, so we're going to start up one of these, put eight in there, and we'll start up some iron here. Which we don't really need to worry about that as much right now, so we're just going to stick a few in there. Uh, so what we're going to need here is a generator. Or actually, if we do go straight to solar power, we won't need a generator for now, but let's see. Solar panels. We do need rubber. That is something I forgot to go get. So we're going to go ahead and set some stuff to smelting. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's do a few more. No, we'll just go go with 16 for now. And we need some wood. Uh, which I don't remember where I put that. Wood and junk? Yes. Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to sort out some of my inventory real quick. And then we will go look for some rubber. Alright, we're back and everything's sorted. So we're going to go ahead and make some tree taps here. And I want to get that on the film in case uh, you don't know how to make them. So we're just going to get... I guess three for now. That should be plenty. Okay, so we're going to head out and try to find some rubber trees. Um, I've only spotted one so far. So we're going to go over this direction here. 
and I can also show you this out here. I've been working on getting uh, somewhat of steps built up around the outside. I still have this section to go here, just to make it look a little bit better. Uh, for now, it's kind of a problem because I haven't built the sides up any, but uh, we'll get a little bit of the sides built up. It looks like there's some rubber trees there. Uh, we'll get the sides built up towards a dome shape uh, this episode. Uh, not too much. This is where I was getting my sand before. It looks ugly now, but that's fine. Let's go up here. Now, I like to go straight up and leave these back ones here, because then it allows the resin to hit the trees right here and fall straight down. Why is there an enderman out here during the day? That was... <laughs> that was odd. Hmm. Weird. I have not looked at any Endermen lately, so... I don't think... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I did not check the other side of these. I forgot to check those. Nothing there, or there. And it looks like nothing there. So we'll leave that tree. I'm trying to stand up on that. Doesn't look like there's any on this one at all. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Uh, that is a rubber tree, but there's no there's no place to tap it. Hmm. Weird. Uh, let's keep going here. There looks like there's another rubber tree right over here. Oh, very nice. Some red mushrooms. Hello, Mr. Chicken. And it looks like this one doesn't have any taps either. This is, uh, weird. Why am I getting all the broken trees? Come on now. Oh. You can't tell me all I got was broken trees. How am I supposed to get rubber? Hmm. Going out this way and see if we can't find any more. Actually, since we are over here, I want to go ahead and whoa, here we go. Very nice. We'll uh, we'll work around that at a later point. We can't really do anything with it just yet. Uh, since we are out here, though, I want to get some of this tree. So we're gonna go ahead and chop a couple pieces of that. Just because. And we're kind of screwed at the moment. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on with my rubber trees. Uh, I'm going to go find some more rubber trees. And if I don't find any, uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll be back shortly though, guys. Okay, so we went a little bit away from where we were just before. And I found a ravine. Which is awesome. We'll have to uh, explore this at some point. But still, sadly, no, no rubber trees. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. I was really looking forward to uh, getting some power in the, the base in this episode. But so far, we are out of luck. Um, there's a tap on a tree right there. So we're going to keep going over there. That one looks odd. I think this one may be a rubber tree. Yes, it is. So we'll go ahead and tap into that. I was wondering why that looked a little bit darker than usual. And we got a rubber tree sapling. Awesome. I plant that right next to the base. Or right inside it, one of the two. There we go. We found a swamp. That is much, much needed. So let's go over here and check these trees. There's a tap right there. We don't need very much of this right now, but we are going to need a lot later. But by then, I hope to have a bunch of trees planted by the base. It doesn't look like there's any rubber trees out there, so we're not gonna go over there. Let's check over this direction real quick. And it doesn't, it looks like there's one rubber tree there. 
I don't really think that's worth the trip. Uh, we have seven right now, which is not very much at all. There's a rubber tree right there, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, collect a little bit more rubber. Uh, since there's not very much of it, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, I guess. And when we get back, I will hopefully be back at base and not lost someplace. Alright, so I was a little bit lost. Whoa, I heard an enderman. Uh, it started to get dark, so I had to start running back as quick as I could. Uh, we got a little bit more sticky resin, though. So we're doing a little bit better on that. So we really just need to get back and start to get stuff uh, to get stuff going. And I forgot to put some copper smelting before we, uh, we left there. So we're a little bit behind on that, but that's fine. And we are getting chased, as usual. Skeletons really seem to like me for some reason. So we're just going to go inside here and uh, sleep for the night. Hopefully, unless that skeleton decides to make us change our mind. And he's burning up out there, so we're just going to kind of hide here. Uh, he can shoot through here, so... There we go. He should be dead by now. Okay, it looks like our sand is... Or our, sorry, our iron ingots are completed. And our refined iron ore also. So we need some copper. We're just going to grab half of a stack. And give me just a second. I'm going to sort uh, the inventory real quick and then we'll be right back. Alright, we're back and it looks like our, our glass is coming along there. So we need to begin refining some of this. And we also need a few sticky resin, but first I want to make some bowls and some soup. Or some stew, sorry. There we go, so we've got some stew. And I also wanted to plant some of these rubber trees. And hopefully that will help us in the long run. I think we'll use this right here for trees for now. We'll just kind of stick these out here. Not worry too much about placement right now. Just kind of keep them in this, this center row there. There we go. That's looking good. So let's go ahead and get started on power. Uh, we will need... I guess we will go ahead and make a generator. So let's get... See what we need for a generator. Um, so we need a furnace, a machine block, and an RE battery. And I do not remember pattern for an RE battery. And I'm trying to find the recipe for it, but it's not allowing me to do that for some reason. It might be in here though. I'm clicking on it and I'm selecting R with it, but it's not letting me do that. So let's see. We'll just look for battery. Uh, either one is fine, I believe, so we'll go to this. We need four tin, two redstone, and the copper cable. So let's go ahead and get some tin. I did not remember to smelt any of that up, so we'll start that real quick while we make our cables. Get our tin in here and just give it a couple pieces. And our glass is completed, so we do need... Uh, I'm not sure how many sticky resin we want to get, to be honest. We'll go with six for now. And I have to remember how to make copper cables, actually. So let's see. Uh, whoops. This one right here. We want copper cable, which is six rubber. Ouch. Although I believe there is an easier way to do this. I know you can make uninsulated, which is three copper ingots. We're going to make uninsulated with our copper that we have someplace here. There we go. I'm going to make, uh, let's get three sets of it for now. We don't need too much, but we do need some. Let's go ahead and grab some tin. Uh, we needed four tin, and I need redstone, which is over here. I believe we needed two redstone. So, oh, we needed a copper insulated cable also, so we need rubber. So we'll grab our rubber here. 
and I believe it is like this. No? I believe there's another way to insulate. Whoops. I put that in there wrong. There we go. I'll go ahead and make five of these for now. Because we really just need one at the moment. So we need one here, two redstone, and four tin. That makes our battery. Now we need a furnace and a machine. So a machine block is refined iron like this, and a furnace also. So our furnace, then our machine block, and then our RE battery. That is our generator. Now we still have some other stuff going here. We are going to need some more sticky resin. We're going to go ahead and do about seven more, I guess. Should be enough, I hope. I'm not completely sure. Uh, we will need some un uninsulated tin, I believe, is uh, the low voltage cable. Ultra low current, yes, is 310, so we're going to need some of that. Let's put three there. Nine should be enough uh, for now. And let's see, we will need a bat box right here. Um, no, I wanted the recipe for a bat box. And it's not giving me the recipe. Uh, interesting. Okay, here we go. So we need three batteries, ouch, copper cable, and some wood. So, give me just one second, I'll get all the materials together, and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back, and I got the materials for this, although we need some wood now. So, we'll go ahead and make our bat box, which I believe is a copper cable. Whoops, uh, two batteries, or three batteries, sorry. Wood, like so. And that is our bat box. So let's go ahead and find a good place for this. Uh, we are going to be using solar energy a little bit later. Oh, there we go. We got a rubber tree already grown. Uh, we should put our power somewhere pretty close to down here because this we're going to be going to be where most of our crafting is going to be. So let's go ahead and start it over here. This tree will probably have to go sometime sooner or later. So let's put our bat box down here. Let's see. Give me just a second. I'm going to look this over. Uh, I really don't know where I want this laid out so far. But we'll get this laid out real quick and then we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And I figured we're just going to cut in here. So we'll go ahead and make a little bit of a, an indention here. Into the, the wall. And we're going to put our bat box right back here. For now. Uh and we will need the output right there is fine we want the output coming up here and we'll need our ultra low cables coming right there because we, we're going to be putting our machines right up here and that way we have power in the back we can just hide it back here so now we need input from where did I put oh I forgot I did not finish making any because we ran out of rubber so we'll grab some rubber here and we need rubber and an insulated copper cable. And now we can put our copper cable coming from the top here. And it should be right about here. Nope, uh, I was off just a little bit. We'll just go ahead and bring this cable straight up here. And I'll fill this hole back in just a little bit. So now we have our cable running up. Let's go ahead and put our generator. Uh, let's put our generator here. And then if we ever want to run solar panels, we can run them off of this cable here. And I ran this incorrectly, actually. We need to take back these. Sorry about that. We'll need some copper cable. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, now, what we really need first, I would say, would be an extractor. So let's get the recipe for that. An extractor. Uh, we need the original one, which is an electronic circuit. So that's six more copper cables. Ouch. And a refined iron. So we're going to need at least one more piece of refined iron. 
And we need more rubber. And we're pretty, uh, we're out of rubber basically. So let's go ahead and get a couple of those going. We will get, let's say, let's get nine more of this coming out. Go ahead and get that going. And while that works, I guess we'll go ahead and go to sleep since we, uh, we seem to need it at the moment. It got late pretty quick. At least at this point, we have rubber trees growing in the base here, so that's awesome. And we don't really have much else we can do at the moment while we'll wait on that, so we will grab our tree taps and head over here and start getting uh, getting some more rubber. We really need it. So we'll just dig straight up through the side here and only get one. <laughs> Uh, there can be multiple tree taps on the trees, but yeah, I'm obviously not lucky enough for that. <laughs> Some of them I get none on mine. Let's go check this one. Looks like there's one right there. We get a little bit more sticky resin at least. Which would definitely. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a second one up there. Come on, where's the third? We gotta have a third. Nope. We're not that lucky. So let's go down here. We're gonna drop a few pieces of coal into our generator. Drop seven in for now. And whoops. That should be collecting into our bat box. Yep. So now we have power coming in, although it's not very efficient at all. It's uh, terribly inefficient to be honest. We need to get some of this out of our way here. Uh, that might be saved till next episode, uh, but we'll see. So we need another machine block. So we'll make one more machine block like so. And then we will need... For an extractor, we need advanced circuits. Or electronic circuits, sorry. So we're going to need six copper cables and two redstone. And we don't have much copper cable, so let's make some more real quick. Two more sets should be plenty for now. And I left my rubber. And I know I dropped that on the ground. That's fine for now. We'll go ahead and stick our rubber and our copper. <laughs> An insulated copper cable. Sorry guys, it's a uh, it's been a little while. And we need redstone. So we'll go grab some redstone here. We need we'll just grab it all for now. Uh, I believe we only need two. For the circuit, but we'll go ahead and grab two stacks of it here. Uh, and a little tip that I learned from Direwolf if you hit the question mark, it shows you what you need. So we need to go to electronic circuit and hit the little tip bar. Refined, we need two redstone and six cables. So that's our circuit. Now we need an extractor, which is four taps, and a machine block and a circuit. So let's go ahead and make some tabs here. Oops, I already have wood. Sorry about that. So we'll go one, two, three, four. And we'll try to. Hmm, we'll just drop the cables for now, which is fine. And we'll just get all of this up in place here. And I believe you need full tree taps, actual ones. That's why I, uh, I made some new ones there. And we have our first actual block. That is really, really useful. <laughs> so we already have power going to it. Now we need to stick some sticky resin in there. So we'll stick our sticky resin in here. And this gives us better production of... Whoa, we're almost full on power. So yeah, this gives us better production of rubber, which is going to help us a lot. And the next thing we will need, the next machine, will be a macerator. And we'll go ahead and get this. A machine block, a new electronic circuit, flint, and a cobblestone. Uh, I'm going to get the materials for this, and then we'll be right back, guys. And I have to check how long the video is. So we'll be back shortly. Alright, we're back, and we are already over what I would like to have for the time on the video. But whatever, right? We're going to go ahead and finish up what we were doing here. So, 
for the macerator we need a machine block which I can make easily we need an electronic circuit which I need one more iron refined iron so we'll just stick the wood in there that's fine I don't want to waste any more coal on that and I've already gotten some rubber out of there from our extractor very nice production on that and we'll go ahead and place one here and I already forget what we need uh, we need cables and I believe redstone for our circuit yes and we need this now so we need a machine block okay so machine block an electronic circuit two cobblestone and three flint and there we go and we'll just place this right next to it so that it's getting power from that and I only have one thing on me right now so we're just gonna stick it in there and a macerator turns your ores into to dust so you get much better production for ores so this will be nice uh, between now and the next episode which will be not tomorrow Thursday it will be Friday because Thursday I upload Civilization 5 videos uh, but between now and the next video I will do some mining and kinda keep production going here uh, getting some more cables, some rubber obviously uh, I won't really build any more machines for now um, it's possible that I'll upload another video tomorrow, we'll see it's possible but uh, for now that's it guys, we have uh, power and I'll clean all this up later we have power coming in, and in the next episode, I guarantee you, we will make some solar panels someplace, and get some passive power. So yeah, come back uh, for episode 4, which will be Friday, possibly Thursday. Uh, but yeah, have a great day tomorrow on Friday, guys, and thanks for watching.